Hey, what is up, guys? Uh, this is Blue Fox 22 coming at you with part two of our Let's Talk About Beyblade series. Um, this is the collection video, and then the next video, hopefully today, for today, uh, will be a Beyblade black. I failed English today. A Beyblade battle. Um, if I seem a little iffy today, it's because I keep losing to Penance on Final Fantasy X HD Remake. Uh, Penance is the new optional boss for the game, and he keeps kicking my ass. So I'm for those who think my channel is PG, it's more NC-17. So, first up, um, for the next part of our collection for the Beyblades is... Uh, Archer Ifrit E230D. So we'll bring that in. I'll actually show you the stone fit. Oh, there it goes. Stone fit is a little bit better, and then the actual wheel. And like I said, some of these are modified so that they're, you know, they stand out more. Like here, there's some silver on here. I actually painted Ifrit black. I'm not done with them yet. He's just flat black. So I'm gonna figure out something else for him. And then I will actually take this apart so you can actually see Archer better. Some gray on the inside of the arms of the bow. <clears throat> the actual arrowhead. Some gray down here for the string. And it's a beautiful, like, crimson blue. Well, crimson blue. Cobalt blue. Yeah, crimson blue would be weird. <clears throat> Alright, and I better look at E230. I don't like the 230 track. It is just, to me, it's just too tall. And very gimmicky. That's that. Uh, up next is Guardian Golem. Uh, I forgot the name of this spin track, but it is a. This used to be a whole f or a flat, and I it wore down to it, to the point where there's a hole in it. Um, this was my little cousin's. He actually was using it on the concrete and. It kind of worn down, so I traded him for a better performance tip for his Beyblade, and he gave me this one. And I just stuck a metal ball bearing in there. So the idea is like the uh, Eternal ES, um, like um, the spin track that came with the uh, Takar Tomy version of Phantom. With the Phantom Wheel. I forgot what the name of that one was. Uh, Phantom Orion. Phantom Orion. Um, that one had a gimmicky track where it would spin, and it was known for having ridiculous amounts of stamina. So here's the Golem. Energy Wheel. The lines are done in black, and the helmet has silver detailing on it with a the making it look like the helmet's empty and then the actual guardian crystal wheel just some accented the waves here because this came from a Levi uh, guardian leviathan and then the actual shield part itself is gold a goldish yellow up next we have torch jimios with a beefowl um, bolt, and this was a rubber flat tip, same performance tip as, uh, same, uh, spin track as before, but different performance tip, the rubber flat has worn down a lot, I think this was rubber hole flat, actually, rubber hole flat, and then torch Jimios itself, so I do have some metal fight Beyblades and some Shogun Steel, 
all of my Beyblades are Hasbro. I never got any chance to get any Sona Kong or uh, Takara Tomy just yet. And then there's one supplier I've seen. They sell. Um, he what he'll do is he'll make molds of the plastic ones and make them out of like a styrofoam or like a clay that can be you know melted away. And he'll make metal casting ones of of you know they're one to one. Um, the weight's a little different because it's a little heavier. Um, so I noticed some some people were saying that it's like a couple grams heavier than normal. But I I don't care as long as they perform well and they do. So I want to try and get some uh, metal spin tracks and performance tips off of him. Uh, up next is El Drago Destroy. This is the Hasbro one. Even has that gimmicky uh, performance tip and track. So while it's spinning, it's a whole flat, and then when its speed slows down enough, it becomes a sharp tip. So these, um, this performance track and tip, uh, performance track and uh, spin track and performance tip actually uh, shine if you have a string launcher, not a uh, ripcord launcher like I do. That's the other thing I have to get a ripcord launcher. Okay, we have uh, Bandit Gimbu. Uh, I forgot the name of this uh, spin track. I think it's like, it's not AD145 because AD145 is on my twisted wheel. It's the heavier, uh, thicker armored one, and then this is just D. And I painted the entire thing red, and I accented the tentacles, uh, the divots in the tentacles, which would, I guess, would be the suction cups, the suckers in the tentacles, with some graphite. I do want to go back over this in red again, though. Uh, next up is Ninja Zorago. Um, I forgot what this track and uh, performance tip is, actually, because this came off of Dragoon. But I, yet again, I did like a yin and yang kind of thing. And if you guys know the performance track, or the spin track and the performance tip, please let me know in the comments below. I know this is a semi-flat, and I believe it's a left downforce. Okay, that's that. Um, up next is... Samurai Salamander. Uh, I believe this is left wing uh, 90, L, uh, 90 LF LWF and this is a whole flat. The, this has been heavily modified because it's, yeah, it's been chipped and nicked and stuff and I had to file some things down. Actually, show you the mm, nice and tight on there so they don't fly apart. I'll actually show you Sam or Salamander. Salamandra. And I love how the paint that I used dried because it gives it this weird looking texture. Because normally what I'll do is I'll polish them up real good and then um, paint them. But this time around, I didn't do it for this one. As you can see in the center, it's all dull. And that's what I don't want. But in this case, I let it go and then that's what I got. So 
this weird texture on it. And it, you can actually feel the texture on the uh, underneath the paint. It's awesome. I didn't think it would come out that way. Um, did we do Meteor El Drago? I don't think we did. Meteor El Drago. I believe this is Wing Wing Defense uh, 145 WD Wing Defense uh, DB Double Ball. So there's a small ball there, and the rest of the performance tip is a ball. And the cool thing about this um, spin track is that it has two different modes. So when it's up like this, when it's uh, face up with this showing, or uh, with this hidden. So this would be against the Beyblade. Um, it's going to go like this. And these are actually going to catch another gimmicky track or catch a, a lower Beyblade and knock it off balance. And if you flip it over, this is going to basically glance off of the other Beyblade and uh, protect your Beyblade from, you know, uppercuts and stuff like that. So it's not a bad it's not a bad gimmicky uh, track. I actually do like that one. And last but not oh, uh, Butterfingers. <laughs> Give me one second, guys. I'll be right okay, back. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, last but not least, we have Dragoon. Uh, actually, this is Pirate Dragoon right now. And he is a left spin Beyblade. Uh, this was originally, uh, I believe, 145. Um, CD, Circle Defense, or Wide Defense, something like that. Um, it was a wide green wheel. Basically, if you put it on uh, Hell Cerberus or Hell, Hell Kerbix, um, you could that was the other gimmick for this particular spin track um, you can turn uh, Hell Kerbix into a from an attack type to a defensive type which or stamina type which was actually pretty sweet I just never got my hands on Hell Kerbix and then this was a uh, I believe this was just a, f a flat performance tip and it just shattered the one day I guess I got like the bad batch of some some of my performance tips that it, it either they just shatter or you know just wear and tear over time. So this I just turned into an HMB heavy metal ball. Um, it does not like staying on performance tips for some reason. Um, you can see in there it's all chewed up. I even tried using a, a Dremel and stuff to. I actually cleaned it up as best as I could, and you know, you can actually see it doesn't like sit all the way down anymore. I even took the ball off, and it still doesn't, the ball's not even affecting it. It's just, there's just something about it that doesn't want to sit on the performance track all that well. So, yeah. So, I guess the next Beyblade I'll be getting will replace these two. Or if I get those metal parts, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Next up will be um, the Beyblade battles. Uh, I'll do some um, metal fight, and then we'll do some synth chrome battles. Now, synth chrome battles um, are Shogun Steel, the Shogun Steel Beyblades. Um, if you notice, like this, if you take two of the metal wheels. You can fuse them together. So this would be uh, Ef uh, Golem Ifrit or Ifrit Golem, and that's what's cool about you know the Shogun Steel. That's what caught my attention to it. Um, you can make some pretty ridiculously crazy heavy Beyblades and put a really low spin track on them. You know something like that. And, you know, this thing has some wicked down smash because of a freet. Or I can, you know, turn it the other way around and, you know, 
he's, you know, a defensive tank now. So, you know, just some things to play around with. And then I'll put a list down, uh, further down the line for the Beyblade battles and stuff. I'll put a list of what Synth Chrome Beyblades I have for the Metal Wheels and the Crystal Wheels. And you guys can do like a random draw, random pick, and then every now and then I'll take two or four of the parts listed and I will mix them together and we'll have a battle to see which ones win. And then later on we'll do like a tournament style you know, battle. And then I'll figure out what uh, what the prize will be for those who guess the winner. So yeah. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, I am your host, BullyFox22, aka Michael Gardner. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell your friends about me, tell your family about me, tell them what I do, tell them what the channel's all about. Remember, it's games, music, and above all, fun. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, as always, stay safe, stay as healthy as humanly possible, and above all, Stay foxy. I'll check you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.